Welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling, and today we cooking with me, A.B. Now listen, this is one of my go-to meals. You know, this is what I make. This is a part of my rotation. I just wanted to show you guys just how easy it is so you guys can possibly put it in your uh, weekly rotation also. Here's the setup. If you're going to work, all you gotta do is take your uh, boneless, skinless chicken thighs out of the freezer, put them in the refrigerator, go to work. When you come in, they should be thawed out. Then all you gotta do is, you know, bring them, line out your ingredients, you know, get your bowls. That's what makes it super easy. After you got your bowls, then you wanna go ahead and get your chicken, trim any excess fat that, you know, came on there, any of that skin, trim that, and then cut them into like bite-sized bites. And after that, hey, I can't tell you nothing else. You guys are getting ready to see just how easy it is to make a complete meal. Look, these are served excellent over some rice and some broccoli. Hey, with that being said, we finna break right into this video. Okay, now going over the ingredients, we got green onions. That's We're gonna use that for garnish, and obviously we can use the upper part of the green onion. You had apple cider, cider vinegar, olive oil, and listen, if you're new to my channel, let me just go ahead and just say, every time I pick up an ingredient, you can see the name of the ingredient along with the quantities. And if you look down in the description box below, you'll be able to see one, the an ingredient list, you know, with the same thing. That way you can copy and paste and print. And then of course we got boneless, skinless chicken thighs. That's a little bit more than a pound and a half. But, and this right here is, uh, this is what we're gonna be making it in. You gotta, you know what, if you ask me for best results, I'm gonna say, you know, having a, a cast iron skillet is the best. Now, what I'm doing is I'm doing some trimming. I know they boneless, skinless, you know, but you still gotta, it depends on the, uh, the brand. Some of it, you know, have a little bit more on there. Listen, the more and more you, the skin and fat you can take off of it, the better it is and the quicker that it'll brown. Now, what I'm doing is I'm just cutting them into strips. And then once I got them broke down, then I go, once I got them cut into strips, you know, I turn them and then I just start cutting them. What we're doing is we cubing them. And the objective is to make sure that these are all the same size or close to it. That way they all finish around the same time. Now, we just want to keep doing that. And the reason I keep showing this, you know, I just want everybody to see it, especially those that are, uh, that are new. Because listen, if you're reading the recipe, it tells you something, but it's nothing like having a guy right there in front of you. So if you ask me, look, this right here, you're able to see it. I just set the strips over there. And these are them awkward little pieces that was left. I just go ahead and cut those into, you know, about like three quarter inch by three quarter inch, you know, bites. Actually on this right here, because I know what I'm doing, I, uh, I have them pretty much like, I have two different sizes. I have some small ones and I had some that was more uniform, which were the bigger ones. Now, get yourself a, a bowl and just go ahead and put them in there. What you see me doing right now is I'm looking for anything that didn't get cut right or looked like it was too small and I just discard it. So once I like my, uh, my, my cuts, I just put them in a bowl, I set that off to the side and then I go ahead and wash up my uh, cutting board and my knife. Now we want to heat up a uh, heat up your cast iron skillet. That right there, we just added our uh, olive oil to it, and we want to heat it up. We're gonna start off on medium high, and then I went ahead and hit it, moved it up to high. Once your uh, your skillet is you know nice and warm and your butter is melted, go ahead and just add your chicken bites to it, and just move them around. Make sure most of them are flat so that they can start browning. What we're looking for is to see if we can get those brown the edges of the uh, chicken to brown a little bit. Now. You notice that some of them are pink. And what we want to do is we want to cook them till they're about white. And then we're going to cook them some more. But once that peak, peakness is gone, then we move on. Then we can move on to the next step. Right here, what you saw is when I put the uh, salt and pepper inside, you just want to mix it up and make sure all of them get salt and pepper on there. Now, as you can see, you can see it's starting to turn white. And then, but you can still see some of that pink. So I just keep moving it around. Once I move it around so that, you know, maybe some of the pink parts are touching the, uh, the cast iron skillet, then I just leave it alone and you let it cook. Now I kept it on this, this portion right here just so you guys can see. You know, we started out pink, now we ended up where most of them are, uh, all of it is starting to turn white. It's chicken, so we wanna make sure it's cooked thoroughly. And don't forget, I'm cooking on the induction top, so the heating element is right in the middle. So once I got everything, you know, uh, you know, cook, and I'm, I'm for sure about that. What I do is I add the rest of our ingredients, which was the butter, minced garlic. Now I'm coming with the honey. And what we want to do is we just want to cook some of the uh, liquid out. And once you cook it out, then it starts thickening up, almost just like a gravy. But you just want to keep working it back and forth, and you want to keep it on that that medium high heat. Now, now listen, the first process usually takes about five minutes and because i'm using the induction top it's heating from the center it would probably took me about seven to eight minutes that way but other than that everything is uh, the same now you can see right here look it started thickening up you can see the way the bubbles are uh, bubbling in the middle you know that right there lets you know and then look at the color it started turning that brown once you got everything cooked 
there it is right there with that rice and i got some broccoli just go ahead and put it on top of that rice and there you have it you know what this is honey butter garlic chicken at its best now once you got everything plated all you got to do is you know hit it, hit it with your garnish and this right here is just what sends it over the top again that's honey butter garlic chicken so tell me what you guys think about this one here super easy to make you know what and it's something to add to your repertoire you know hey i just gotta say this listen it ain't always gotta be spaghetti baked potatoes you know our regular go-to monday through friday hey we can just mix it up and i want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below what would you do with this and before you guys ask yes you can do it with whole chicken you know what but i just like this served over some rice you know with that sweet with that you know with the pop of just a little bit of that that salty uh, flavor also along with some broccoli Ooh wee that's all i got to tell you listen this is one of my go-to meals listen this comes up quite often and when i go to the grocery store this is one of the things that i do i usually buy uh buy this pack split it in half you know what i mean and uh, try to make it like about every about every four days anyway so with that being said listen if you're new to my channel let me go ahead and just say hey thank you for watching this video don't forget to subscribe like this video and let everybody out there know there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking hey and if you've been watching me for a while you know what i'm about to say i'm out of here